we gave him last week off because we didn't we don't want to scare him away too soon because the season is just getting started. But Marcus Damask is uh, back with us this week, talking to him after the Marquette game. Uh, he's the the Illini guy presented each week by HX Home Solutions, and we appreciate their support of Illini student athletes uh, here on the Illini Guy Sports Spectacular. Marcus, welcome back to the show. Boy, you fit in. R- so easily the first time you were on. And so we're glad you're here each week. Um, what are your thoughts on this uh, Marquette game? You've had a moment now to, uh, uh, to, you know, to digest it and, and back at practice, getting ready for the, for the game against Valparaiso. Um, what were your thoughts coming out of this game and, and um, you know, and how the team performed and what you could do better? Yeah. Um, I think my first takeaway was, I mean, Marquette's good. I mean, that's a, that's a good basketball team. They got, Really good point guard, really good score on the wing, really good big man. Like they, they just got all the pieces, you know. And I felt like we really battled with them the whole game, and you know we didn't execute great at the end. You know we had some good looks that didn't go, but didn't execute the greatest. Um, you know I think that's a game that we can win. So I think you kind of take that game, and you know we learn from it. You know we know some stuff that we have to change, kind of adjustments offensively, what we need to be better at, but uh it's a good game for us early in the season. You know, obviously you want to get the win. The win would have been huge for us, but a game that I think is really going to help us. Marcus, I'm going to, uh, Mike earlier said he agreed with the officiating. And I, I, so I have to disagree. You got fouled on that drive late in the game. Tell me, tell me I'm wrong. I, I mean, I thought you got hammered. Am I right? I mean, yeah, I, w- I would have liked to get the call for sure. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. See, Mike's usually wrong, so it's whatever he says. Hey, there was a, there was a whole him. lot of hammering going on. I I actually liked a little more physical if you don't if it you was. don't call it on one or the other, you know. Yeah, it was a physical game. They let you guys play a little bit, and which was fun because everybody's in the game at the end too. It's not you know a bunch of guys in foul trouble. So, Marcus, as you kind of look at this, and you try and learn from this game, you you had a really nice game. You know, you score. Um, you know, scored 18 points. It's kind of your breakout game, I guess, as an Illini, right? I mean, it's kind of a, a game for you. How does that give you more confidence moving forward? Um, I think it just kind of shows how I can impact this team. You know, uh, a lot of the coaches, Coach Brad, and even, you know, some of my teammates have kind of been on me leading up into this game in this last week that I haven't been aggressive enough, you know, and I've been kind of too passive, just looking to facilitate and not make enough plays. So they've that's really been their main focus with me is just trying to tell me to be more aggressive, you know, and I think just kind of showing that I can do that at a high level and kind of proving to myself that I can, you know, produce against a, a top team in the country just just gives confidence, I think. You know, you guys have a few freshmen who get a, 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 some minutes, not a great amount of minutes. What can you do to help those guys build their confidence so that when they're in – maybe they they feel like they're in a place to contribute? I think just reminding them who they are. You know, I think it's easy to kind of get down on yourself and forget, like, why you're here. You know, obviously there's two tremendous players, three, counting Nico, that have, you know, done a lot to get here. And, you know, obviously they're great players. So just kind of keeping their confidence up, you know, it's easy to lack confidence when you're not playing a lot and just understanding the situation. I mean, like Marquette played one freshman for a couple minutes. Like it's a, it was a grown man's game last night. That was physical. Like it's, it's a hard game for freshmen to go in and excel. And I mean, Dre had some good looks that just didn't go in. You know, Monty really, when he, uh, offensively, I thought he really helped us. You know, he sealed off his guy a couple of times to let Terrence get a dunk, let me get fouled at the rim. I mean, they they did good things, and I think that they're going to keep getting better, and we'll just keep keep trying to integrate them in our system. Talking with Marcus Damascus, the Finding Illini. He's presented by HX Home Solutions each week here in the Sports Spectacular. Um, you know, you kind of talked about in terms of you know age and experience. Um, this is your fifth season, right? I mean, you're a veteran. You've you've been at this before. You mentioned in terms of again, and and the guys have talked about it in terms of Marquette uh, also being a veteran team. Brad saying they've returned four starters. There's a cohesiveness there that only comes with being together you know for a year year and a half um you've been through that as well how difficult is that to come through and no matter how much time you spend over the summer or preseason workouts it's just not the same as real game action when you're going up against a a quality team you talk about that in terms of just how the dynamic is different as you're trying to to you know meld all these different talents in this experience together into a cohesive unit yeah, the games are a lot different. You know, you 
you try to simulate game situations in practice and you bring in refs and stuff, but it's just not the same. Like the game is, it's a different type of energy, you know, it's, it's just different. So, you know, it takes time to get used to each other. And it, I think it kind of showed a little bit toward the end, you know, we got a little stagnant offensively and we weren't kind of stopped trusting the offense a little bit, you know, we just got to continue to trust each other, trust the offense and trust what we do. And then I think, you know, you won't see those droughts toward the end of the game. You know, I think, and that's why Marquette, you know, they just were able to keep going. You know, I think coach told us that everybody that played in that game for them outside the freshman had played two years ago when they played us. Like they were all on the same team. So like it's a team that's been together for a long time and, you know, they have that camaraderie, camaraderie already or we're just building it, you know, and I don't think that's not an excuse on why we lost, but, you know, I just think we can just keep getting so much better throughout the season. Marcus, you have a, so even, even sometimes, you know, you have guys that, you know, Terrence is probably one of the most athletic and fun guys to watch in college basketball, but you know, he, he, he had a, he gets a little, um, you know, he had a few hiccups with the turnovers. Coleman had a few turnovers that, those are plays that they normally make. So when you, how do you like keep those guys like engaged when, when the things aren't going their way? You know what I mean? Like, I mean, just things were just happening that it wasn't really a bad, they didn't play poorly, just bad things. Things didn't go their way. And so you're trying to overcome that. How do you help those guys through that process? Just kind of talk to them that, you know, like when Terrence and Coleman are making mistakes, when they're aggressive, you kind of live with it. You know, like, especially Terrence, like, when he's getting downhill, you want him to get downhill. You know, sometimes the ball might get hit. Sometimes he might fumble it. But, like, you live with mistakes when he's being aggressive. You know, obviously, there's a couple that he threw that, you know, just kind of got out of his hand. You know, like, some of the one-hand passes that lead to turnovers or stuff that, you know, obviously you don't like. But we want them to be aggressive, you know. And if it comes with a turnover, two turnovers a game, the amount of positives that come from it versus the negatives, it outweighs it. So, you know, I just kind of try to keep telling them how much confidence I have in them and just tell them to keep being aggressive. Now with Ty Rogers, he's the ultimate team player and even passed up a dunk opportunity for a, for a three. And did you pull him aside and say, Hey, it's, it's okay to go ahead and throw that puppy down. Yeah. Obviously Ty, and he knew, he knew he kind of messed up there. You know, I didn't, I didn't have to tell him. He said that in the locker room right after the game. He said, yeah, like, that's my fault. So, I mean, he knows, obviously, you know, it was a, a mistake we, we would love to have back. You know, I, I could have hit the shot and it'd be a great play. So, like, it's not, it's yeah. not, on so, but it's a, it's a play that we wish we could have had back, but just grow on it, build on it. Exciting times. Valparaiso coming up Friday, uh, Southern Sunday, no rest for the weary. And then you get a little bit of a break uh, for the holidays. So uh, listen, um, get your work in. Uh, Turkey comes later. And uh, we look forward to talking to you after the weekend. Yes, sir. That sounds good. All right. Appreciate it. Marcus Damascus joining us uh, once again, presented by HX Home Solutions each week here on the Sports Spectacular. Stay by.